What's going on guys? I'm going to give you guys a tutorial on how to make uh, an awesome end screen on the end of your videos and I'm going to teach you why it's important to do an end screen. When someone watches a video on your YouTube channel, there's suggested videos that come up on the side. So somebody is likely to hop from your video to another video to another video. So what I want when someone comes to my YouTube channel, like you have come uh, today, is that you watch my video, you get some value from it, and then you want to watch something else from my specific channel. Uh, I want you to, the goal is for you to subscribe to my channel, watch some more of my videos so I can add value to you the best that I can. So in order to do that, we're going to use end screen. So I'm going to show you guys how to make an end screen. Um, you can do this on any photo editing app. I specifically, um, on a MacBook, I just use Pages. Uh, before, when I had a, um, a Dell computer and, and different books, uh, uh, laptops like that, I edited on just Microsoft Word. Um, maybe I just do that because that's how I'm, I, my previous job and career was writing manuals, so I did everything in Word. So I'm doing this in Pages. What I do is I've uh, picked this, I, I made a blue rectangle. That's the one I want, for example, for my daughter's YouTube channel for their end screen. And this is my end screen right here. It's a gray background. So what I do is I just uh, make a gray square. I just go up here and hit the shape, um, make a square, it's blue, and then I can change the color over here with the editing app. So what I do is I, and I'm gonna teach you guys, walk you guys through this. So I put my story, I left the rectangle right here. You can see my little mouse moving around. I left a rectangle because I'm gonna have a, a video pop up right there at the end of my channel. At the end of the video, I have a video pop up there that is me telling my story. So uh, this is what the end screen looks like before it gets edited in the video. So it says my story right there. Um, I then uploaded, this is just a photo right here. I then put this photo on my channel right here. And this is not the right words right here, but I, uh, I'll just, you'll deal with me. I have the right ones on the, on the one I saved. So I put my photo in there so people can see my before after picture because normally I'm just like this talking. So I want somebody to know what I've done uh, with Beachbody workouts. Uh, so I put that right there. Then I have mine specifically that says subscribe to my channel. Um, so subscribe to my channel or click here to subscribe. You can write whatever you want. And I have two arrows because right here on the end screen, we're going to pop up a little circle of my profile picture on YouTube where if they click that, it takes them to my, um, my profile on YouTube where they can click subscribe, they can see all, my, uh, all of my specific playlists and videos. Then over here, I have this specifically, um, some wording called coach training. I have enough space right here for this big rectangle where I will put two playlists, well, where two videos will pop up that are playlists to, to my channel that are, have specifically to do with coach training. So that's how you make it right there and then you can screenshot it. Uh, what I do to screenshot on MacBook is can command shift four. It gives you this little cursor and then you can make a box around what you want to screenshot or share a picture of, which would be this. And then it saves to my desktop right there. So um, I'm gonna mess around with that later, but I'm gonna end, put that screen away and then I'm going to uh, pop up another screen. We're gonna share my iMovie screen right now. So this is iMovie. So like I said, I'm going to just, I did a video, a Facebook Live on, I was making some pancakes and I'm directing people to watch my wife's video that she had on my YouTube channel. And I asked people to subscribe to my channel on that live video. So here is that picture right here, if you can see it. Uh, and it says my story, it has my picture, click here to subscribe. And I have it specifically for 10 seconds is how long I put mine. So I upload the photo. If you've never done this before on, on iMovie, you take your photo and it's as simple as this. Um, you just drag, drag and drop right here. So I would drag and drop it like that. You guys can see it pop in right here. And then you can make it as long as you want. Like that's five seconds. That's seven and a half seconds. That's 12 seconds. You can make it as long as you want. I prefer to do 10 seconds. So mine is right here for 10 seconds. Um, I airdrop the video from my phone to my MacBook. So I'm gonna go to my downloads. Uh, here it is right here today at 11.29. I'm gonna drag this over. I'm going to drag and drop right in front of my end screen. And then you can see right here, I'll do other tutorials. I'm going to make a playlist for you guys of tutorials on video editing, simple, uh, basic video editing on iMovie. So right here, uh, here's the video. Looks something like this. So I'm not going to have you guys watch it. I'm not even going to edit the video. I'm just going to show you. It goes like this. Uh, the video is like three minutes and 40 seconds. Comes over here. Uh, video ends right here. 
And this is what happens. It ends and it goes to my 10 second end screen. So this is what we're talking about specifically right now. The end screen looks like this. Okay. Um, I'm going to teach you one other thing. I'm going to add some music to it. I'm going to go up here to the audio. I'm going to go to theme music and I'm going to put um, just some pumped up music. It's really loud at the beginning. You're going to see. I'll drop the volume. It's really loud. So what you do is you grab right here in the middle. There's a volume line or you can come up here and click this volume button. And it's at 100% volume. You can bring it up to 400 or you can bring it down. I'm going to bring it down while I'm talking to about 2 or 3%, 4%. Let's look at that. Sounds like this. Oh, I, sorry, I lowered the tip of my uh, voice. We don't want that. I'm already soft-spoken enough. So I'm bringing my voice back up to 100. I'll put it like 114. Then I'm going to click on the audio file down here, and that's where I'm going to bring it down to about 4%. We're going to see how that mix looks. We've got the background music. I'm going to raise my voice a little bit with the volume. I'm going to just lift up on this volume right here. It's about 200%. Okay, there. So now I'm going to just copy this. It's only an audio, one minute audio clip. So I'm going to copy it, Command C, and then Command V, paste it right there. One after the other until I fill the whole video. So it goes to the end. I'm going to just grab the end of the audio. You bring it back like this, click and drag to the end of the end screen. I'm going to split the audio right here a few seconds before I end talking when I'm like turning the camera off. Do control click and it's split clip. So I split this audio clip, I can move it around. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna raise the volume of the audio clip up to like 32% see how loud that is. Okay, and then you can, um, what's the word? You can taper the music from lower up to higher by using this at the, at the beginning of the clip. So I'm gonna keep, I'm going to taper it up so it gets loud right when the end screen starts. You can also do that at the end. Um, you can have it, the sound taper off. Um, but I'm specifically going, if you can't see it good on the Facebook Live video, I'm going to, this is, I'm recording this right now for you guys. This is what it's going to look like as it ends. Video, so it's going to make you laugh and make your day either way. So I'll share that video with you guys. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel because we're going to share lots of stuff like this. And I hope you guys have an incredible Thursday. See you guys later. See you, Frank. See you, Michelle. Looks like that. Um, I'm going to shut this off right here. I'm going to actually end my clips because I spent a long time shutting it off. So I'm just going to split the clip, delete it. Uh, and then I'm going to still have the music come on just like this. Um, the, now the video is done. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit this. I'm going to save the file right here. Um, I'm going to name it tutorial or how to make end screens on YouTube. Awesome. Awesome end screens on YouTube. Okay, I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna save it on the description of the video right here. I just do a low quality file for it so it goes quickly. Uh, I do my resolution at 540p video. Most people watch it on their cell phone anyway. Medium quality. I'm gonna next, I'm gonna save it into a folder I have on my computer and there it goes. So. Uh, what I do after that is I'm going to end this share so I can take you over my YouTube. Once that uploads, I'm going to, um, once that uploads, I'm going to upload it to my YouTube channel. I'm just going to take you to a video I uploaded this morning so you guys can see how that works. I'm going to come right here to my YouTube channel. I'm going to go to my video manager and I'm going to go to this one right here, a video I edited this morning. Literally, guys, when I do this, I'm explaining how to do it. When I do it, it takes me like three minutes once you do this. So what I'm going to do is uh, the video is uploaded like this. And then what you do is, so this video I just showed you is going to get uploaded. What you do is then you click on right here, or you click on, you're in your editing of your videos, or you can edit it. You can put all your tags. You click end screens and annotations. Okay. And then what it does is you can add what are called elements over here. Uh, elements are, um, you, can, you can upload like this right here. You can upload uh, um, a subscribe to my channel, which is a circle with your profile picture. 
And then you can upload individual videos if you want one video to get more traction than another. You can upload um, playlists and whatnot. So right here, if you guys remember, I had it written right here, my story. So my story of life change in Beachbody, I have it right there. And I have two coach training playlists right here. Um, and then what you do is uh, you can click, you can choose how long, when you want the video to come on, uh, when you want it to pop on your video. So I have this preset and you can save them. I have a preset for the 10 seconds so that I can, I don't have to spend time doing this. It's just a simple import from a previous video. Uh, and you can see it right here. You can preview how it's going to look. So you'll see video ends, end screen comes on and the videos pop on right there. And I'll just show you like, um, like what happens if you edit it. So I'll do the subscribe one so it comes earlier. I'll move it way over here and show you what it looks like. It'll give a preview. See that button came on right there. And then these ones are set right here. So right here, they'll pop on. So that's how that works like that. Um, and then the cool thing is once you upload a video, I'm gonna hit save, that's a video I already had. Like it says my, my export was successful so I can close that. I would just upload the video, title it, put the tags, put the description that I put on my videos, and then I would click that end screen and annotations. That video would pop up right here, and it, as I already know, because I make them all the same, 10 second long end screen, all I do is import from video. I would click uh, this one right here, this one, because they all have a 10 second end screen where those pop up automatically. I just click it, boom, like this, like import like that. Uh, and it's set and it will be ready to go and you'll have that awesome end screen. So I hope that helps one of you guys uh, learn how to do an end screen super simple. I know that took me some time to walk through, but literally to make that edit on iMovie, to add that end screen on there, it takes me maybe two or three minutes to upload in there, do it, save it, then I upload it to YouTube. I come back later and then I just come on, hit that end screen annotations and then click import from previous video, click and then it automatically pops it on there so it's timed perfect. So when it transitions from my video to that 10 second end screen, automatically pops up the, the, my story, the coach training, and the subscribe button. So hope that helps you guys out. If it helps you guys out in any sort of way, I hope that uh, you would share it with somebody that might need to see that or could learn something from it. Hope you guys have an incredible day. Please subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button right there. See you guys later.